Hey everyone, we're back with another video on Warren's Everyday English. I hope you're having a good day so far. Today, we're going to continue going over Diary of a Wimpy Kid. If you've missed the other Diary of a Wimpy Kid videos, please check the other videos on this channel. So, let's begin. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am super good at video games. I'll bet I could beat anyone in my grade head to head. I'll bet. So I'll bet is an expression we use to express that we are really confident or sure about something. So for instance, David is always late to work. Even though we have an important meeting today, I'll bet that he'll be late today as well. You can also say I bet instead of I'll bet. Head to head. Head to head is an expression meaning for a confrontation or a competition against individuals. It's typically used in games or competitions where individuals go against other individuals or groups go against other groups. It can also be used in business settings where corporations compete against other corporations. So for instance, in a head-to-head -head race against the other presidential candidate, Bob Smith won the presidency. Pfizer is in a head-to-head -head battle with Moderna on being the first to release the new diabetes drug trial. So in this passage from the book, Greg is saying that he's really good at video games and he is confident in that he could win in a direct competition or contest against any other person in his grade level. Unfortunately, Dad does not exactly appreciate my skills. He's always getting on me about going out and doing something active. Appreciate. So typically, appreciate means to be thankful of something or someone. For instance, I really appreciate Don. He gives good advice and always listens to my problems. But appreciate can also mean to recognize someone's worth. So for instance, I work really hard at work and my coworkers always praise my leadership skills. However, I feel like my boss doesn't appreciate my work ethic. We can also use give credit when it comes to recognizing someone's worth. Or we can also say, However, I feel like my boss doesn't give me credit for my work ethic. So my friends, I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. Because people don't appreciate musical skills anymore nowadays. Get on. So we covered this in Diary of a Wimpy Kid number four, but let me explain this one again. To get on someone means to irritate or annoy that person. So for instance, my dad is always getting on me about finding a job, or my boss is always getting on me about bringing in more clients even though all of our existing clients always complain about our products. So in this passage from the book, Greg is saying that his dad does not recognize his skills. His father is always irritating him about going out and doing physical activities outside. So tonight after dinner when dad started hassling me about going outside, I tried to explain how with video games, you can play sports like football and soccer, and you don't even get all hot and sweaty. So hassle. Hassle typically refers to a situation that causes an inconvenience or stress. It is usually an unpleasant experience that requires effort or time to deal with. So it means to annoy or bother someone repeatedly or persistently often in an aggressive or demanding manner. It can involve causing inconvenience or creating difficulties for the other person. For instance, my mom is always hassling me about finding the right girl and getting married. Or, this guy always comes into our store and always hassles us about giving him free or extra food every time he buys something. And you can use hassle as a noun. For instance, I don't want to move to another apartment again, the whole process is such a hassle. Getting a parking spot in this area is always a hassle. So in this passage, it's saying that tonight after dinner, Greg's dad had started bothering him about going outside. When Greg tried explaining that with video games, you could play all kinds of sports without getting hot or sweating. Dad is a pretty smart guy in general, but when it comes to common sense, sometimes I wonder about him. In general is a phrase meaning usually or normally. So for instance, work finishes at 6 p.m. in general, but sometimes there is overtime and I finish at 8 p.m. Or, 
In general, Dan is a nice guy, but when he drives, he gets angry a lot. When it comes to is an expression we use when we want to focus on a specific topic or area. It means regarding or concerning a particular topic. So some samples, for instance, although John isn't good at sports, when it comes to playing instruments, he's really good at playing the piano, guitar, and drums. Or, Although I'm an easygoing person, when it comes to safety in the workplace, I take rules very seriously. And this muscle is a huge deal when it comes to breathing. When it comes to staying in touch and keeping the conversation going, try and use email and social media. So here, Greg is saying that usually his dad is pretty smart, but when we talk about common sense, Greg questions whether his dad has common sense or not. Every time dad kicks me out of the house to do something sporty, I just go up to Rowley's and play my video games there. Kick someone out means to force someone to leave a place because of some particular reason. So for instance, Bob got kicked out of the bar for being too drunk. It means that Bob was forced to leave the bar. John got kicked out of college for failing too many classes. The college forced him to leave the school. So in this passage, it's saying that every time Greg's dad forces him to leave the house to go outside for physical activity, he always goes to Rowley's house to play his video games. Whenever I bring a game up to Rowley's house, his dad looks it up on some parent's website. And if my game has any kind of fighting or violence in it, he won't let us play. Look something up. So when you look something up, it usually means to look online or in books to find out more information about it. So for instance, if you were talking with a friend and your friend mentioned that they saw the brand new Porsche model at the dealership, you may look it up online to see what the color looks like, what type of engine it has, how much it costs, etc. So for an example, hey Bob, I'm trying to sell my old cell phone on eBay. It's in great condition and only a year old. How much can I get for it? Bob says, not sure, John. You should look it up online. So a few more samples here. Can you look up the address of the restaurant on your phone? Or, if you're not sure how to spell a word, you can look it up in the dictionary. So one important note I'd like to point out, look up is different from look for. The phrases look up and look for are similar in that they both involve searching for something, but there's a subtle difference in their meanings and usage. Whereas, lookup typically means to search for information, a definition, a reference in a book, dictionary, or online, look for usually means to actively search for something. When something is lost or missing, or you seek out something that you need, we use the phrase look for. So here's a few examples. I'm looking for my keys. Have you seen them anywhere? She went to the store to look for a new dress for the party. So in this sentence, Greg is saying that whenever he brings a video game to Rowley's house, Rowley's father checks online to find out more information about the game, and if the game has any fighting or violence, he won't let Rowley or Greg play the game. So that about wraps up part one of the video. We'll continue part two in another video. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you've learned a lot today. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.